Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am the Horror Sensei, and today I'm going to be talking about my five favorite movies I saw for the first time in the month of July. Um, if you have followed my channel for a while, you know this is something I like to do at the beginning of every month. Uh, just the five movies I saw for the first time that were my favorite of the previous month. Something I like to do, something that's fun for uh, me to share with you all. Um, July was an interesting month for me and my family. Uh, it started off great, went out of town to a big concert. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> the middle of the month, not the best for me. Uh, the entire family got sick. We're all better now, though. And then the end, the end of the month was good again. So happy to move on to August. Um, but let's kick it off with my number five movie I saw for the first time last month. And that is Schizoid. Um, I'm really happy to get this. I got this uh, Vinegar Syndrome release from the Halfway to Black Friday sale. And I got it for X-Ray. Love this movie starring Barbie Benton. But... Upon watching this for the first time, I absolutely loved this movie. Um, it honestly played out like a, an American Giallo type film in my mind. So really cool. From 1980, directed by David Paulson. Um, I highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's got a slasher vibe. It's got that Giallo Italian vibe to it. Um, really kind of a gritty, dirty, early 80s slasher film. Um, so definitely check that one out. Highly recommend it. Coming in at number four for me is Hell High. Um, this one came out in 1989, so the very end of the 80s, uh, directed by Douglas Grossman. And it's Hell High. This is the new Arrow video release of it. Really beautiful release. Love the back of this cover. That's, that's kind of like a haunting image there. Um, so, Joe Bob Briggs, I love. We all love Joe Bob. We all love Darcy. He is a huge fan of this movie. Um, he has the introduction to it on this Arrow video release. He also has an audio commentary track, which I have not checked out yet, but I, I will be going. I'm going to. Um, but the introduction to it that he gives is like the uh, drive-in totals he gives in his uh, The Last Drive-In show. So that's really cool to see. Um, and honestly, upon watching it, I can understand why he is such a big fan of this movie. It takes pretty common slasher tropes and kind of messes with them a bit and turns them upside down. Um, I would call it a mix between like a slasher movie and a revenge type movie along the lines of like, I, I know um, I Spit on Your Grave, movies like that, Last House on the Left. Um, not maybe quite as bad. We don't really get, like, I Spit on Your Grave gets pretty, pretty brutal. This one's not quite that bad. Um, still a very unspeakable axe, and then it turns into a slasher movie towards the end, and you love it. Uh, you love when she's able to get her revenge. Um, really fun movie, really good movie. Um, it came out during the end of the 80s, right? 1989. So the slasher uh, craze had kind of come and gone by that point. So I kind of think that's why this movie doesn't really get the recognition that it deserves. Um, if it came out probably five years earlier, right in the height of the 80s slasher boom, then I imagine we'd be talking about Hell High a whole lot more than we do. Just my opinion. Um, coming in at number three for me, this one's fun. This is one that I've been wanting to see for a really long time. I've been wanting to pick up the Vinegar Syndrome release for a really long time. And I finally did during their Half Rated Black Friday sale. And that is Dolly Darest. Yes. Dolly Darest from 1991 is coming in at number three for me for the month of July. Such a fun movie. Um, honestly, a heck of a lot better than I was expecting it to be. It's directed by Maria Lise. 
Um, just so much fun. A phenomenal movie. It stars Denise Crosby in it. I didn't even know Denise Crosby was in this movie until I started watching it. And there she was. So that's really cool. Uh, Rip Torn is in this movie too. So a lot of fun surprises like that with the cast. But the doll actually looks really good. The effects, the practical effects in this movie were really well done. The acting's really well done. And it never really takes itself over the top serious. It always just kind of borders there between comedy and horror. It knows it's a killer doll, but it also has enough scares to actually be a good horror movie and not just like a parody or a comedy horror. So all in all, I loved Dolly Darris um, so much better than I thought it was going to be. And I'm really kicking myself for waiting so long to finally pull the trigger on that movie. Um, that's number three. You guys ready for my top two movies of July? Coming in at number two is Bad Moon. Um, whew, I love a good werewolf movie. Uh, Silver Bullet, one of my top three, four all-time favorite movies. I had never seen Bad Moon for some reason. Uh, luckily, thanks to my good buddies, uh, I Beck Joe, Ian, and the horror punk, Rob, we had one of our uh, weekly movie nights, and they introduced me to this one, and I loved every second of it. The werewolf, the creature, looks amazing in this one. Um, hulking, scary, big, like you want a werewolf to look. I don't want to have like an actual wolf and I don't want to have like some, you know, rimpy looking cheap uh, effect thing. I want a big, scary, hulky, hulking creature. And that is where we get in Bad Moon. And the opening scene. If you have seen this movie, you know. If you have not seen this movie, the opening scene to Bad Moon is iconic. From the first uh, frame, honestly, I was truly invested in this movie. I was hooked totally. Um, one of the best opening scenes I, I, I have seen in a very long time. Um, love it. Five stars instantly. Fantastic movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend checking out Bad Moon. Especially if you're into werewolf movies like I am. This one's kind of cool because it's almost told, well, not like the entire movie, but it's kind of told through the dog's perspective. They have the house, the pet dog for the family. And so you get a lot of like looking through his eyes and the story kind of being told through his eyes and what he's doing and how he's reacting to it all. Which I think it's a really cool take on it. Um, it adds something a little different than your standard fare for a movie like this. So props to that. Props to... Um, Director Eric Red, and that brings us to the number one, my favorite movie I saw for the first time in the month of July. Before I unveil it, you know, I usually like to get to at least 30 movies every month. Um, with us being sick this month, I got a little bit more in there. I actually got 43 movies watched in the month of July. So I was really happy about that. That was one of the positives that uh, came from the month. I don't know how I'd never seen this movie before. I've now seen it like three times because I watched it over and over again kind of last month. Um, five stars. Absolutely loved it. And that is Uncle Sam. Yes, that's right. The 4th of July horror slasher directed by Bill Lustig himself. Um, I've never seen this movie. I love holiday horrors, especially holiday slasher movies. We have I Know What He Did Last Summer, which is a yearly 4th of July watch. Jaws, of course, is a yearly summertime 4th of July watch. Uncle Sam is now one of those for me. Absolutely loved the movie. I saw it for the first time on The Last Drive-In with Joe, Bob, and Darcy. They played it. And then I went back and watched it several other times throughout the month. Um, just a really big fan. I love the slasher. I love the look of Uncle Sam. Uh, it has a really good kind of a slasher zombie type look to him. And I love that like, I started off hating this the little kid, the kid actor in it. And then by the end of the movie, I love him, you know. So it, really good character development in my opinion. 
really overlooked. Uh, the movie came out in 1996. So, Scream obviously came out in 96. Uh, you got Scream, you got the I Know What He Did Last Summers, you got Urban Legend, you got all of those 90s slasher movies that really kind of stole the thunder from Uncle Sam, I believe. Um, cult classic, definitely, and now you can look back on it and really just enjoy the movie for what it is. And that is a really fun uh, summertime, 4th of July type slasher movie. Um, I definitely recommend checking out Uncle Sam if you have not seen it. And that's it. There you go. My top five movies I saw for the first time in the month of July. Which of these five are your favorite? Um, let me know in the comments below. Be happy to know. If you want to follow me over on Instagram, you can at Horror Sensei. If you want to follow me on Letterboxd, you can at Husker Sensei. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Haddonfield Sons. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching the video. Make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. And you can tell me what was your favorite movie you saw last month in the month of July. Maybe you saw something that was amazing that you, should, you would recommend that I check out. If you did, let me know. I'd be happy to know and I'd be happy to check it out. So make sure you go ahead and do that. And until next time, remember, try not to get French fried. Bye, everybody.